Okay, Austin, this is from last week. We started off by uh, working on your uh, swing with high T drill. And this drill really is a good drill to, to help you keep your bat head, keep your backside up. And when you're trying to, to make some modifications to the approach, you can see that you're, you know, we're trying to keep your hands from extending out you know from that point right there it, and it's very difficult it's a very difficult thing to change you know because once you start getting to the point where okay I'm gonna keep my hands right there and I'm gonna start my hands moving towards the the ball you do a good job on these high tees but once we start lowering the tee down you'll start seeing you know just you'll start seeing that hey you know I wanna keep my hands the idea is to keep my hands whether they stretch out or not, keep them above the travel, the line of travel of the ball. Let's see, they are right there. In every case, they've been. And live, you know, when it's live and, you, you know, you're not slowing anything down, you can't, it's happening so fast. You can get a glimpse of it, but you really, I mean, it's really tough. I'm talking about hitting with guys. Not, not making adjustments with your feet, not making any adjustments with your load. Just making adjustments with what you do with your arms, you know, your shoulders, your elbows, your wrist. It's, it is something that you don't want, I don't want you thinking about while you're competing. I want you to think about competing against the pitcher. Uh, this is something that obviously we would just want, want you to work on in the cage and that's it. There's sometimes in the K, there's sometimes in batting practice you just want to work on squaring the ball up and that's it. And in the fall and winter, early spring, that's when you start. That's when you have time and you can focus a little bit more, obviously, on your mechanics. Now you can start to see. You know, we'll we'll slow them down here just a second. These are soft toss up in the upper part of the strike zone. And the idea is to see is to keep your hands. See when you, when you saw the ball, it was high, and your hands were below it, and you just stopped. And once once you get used to the fact that I'm gonna keep my hands up, keep my front elbow bent, and then I'm gonna keep on top of the ball, you're gonna have more line drives. And that's what we're after with you. You know, you're a line drive hitter. When you start trying to pull and push your body up, you start running into problems. Now, I've got several, I mean, we did several dr drills for you and with you to try to, you know, consciously focus on keeping your hands up. Keeping that front elbow from going completely straight. Then we start working on you know good quality front toss pitches now there's a difference between front toss pitches obviously and in live arm but you know this is definitely where you can work on perfecting your mechanics you know still a little bit of a movement up your energy up I want your energy to be pouring down into the ball see the comparison on the left and how he kind of keeps his front half slightly bent his front elbow is slightly bent it doesn't go long see again this is a different swing from him different swing from you and I think when you start putting on weight and getting a little stronger it'll it'll help you for sure I've got one more outtake where you guys are uh, I've got you side by side with Caleb Joseph you can work on that. You can keep working on that in your dry swings. Not letting that not letting your your top arm to go completely straight. 
See, when it's in fast motion, I guarantee if I was to slow that down, it went straight, but you just cannot see it. It happens so fast. It's not that it's a major issue. It's just it's one of those things I'd like for you to just work on. If you think, if you work on, hey, at least I can keep my hands above the ball, and my hands above the ball is going to help me hit more line drives, then, then I think you'll do it. I know this is a longer video than normal, but I want you to see a lot of different reps. You can f go back and look at this video and you can uh, you know, see what you're doing, okay?